Hello and welcome to Journeys. Today in this video you will learn how to create a shapefile and then clip or extract by mask with the help of shapefile. Okay, so at first let's open ArcMap and add the damp file. For that, go to Add Data in Standard Toolbar and click on it. The Add Data dialog box is displayed. In this dialog box, browse to the location and select the damp file. And then choose Add button. The dialog box is closed and the data is added in the data view area and to the table of content. Next, we'll create a shape file. Before creating a shape file, go to table of content and right click on the dam layer. A flyout is displayed. From this flyout, choose properties. The layer properties dialog box with source type chosen is displayed. Here you can see the special reference is specified GCS WGS 1984. Now close this layer properties. Next, go to catalog and click on it. The catalog window appears. In this window, browse to the location where you want to create the shapefile and then right click on the folder. A flyout pops out. From this flyout, choose new. Another flyout pops out. From this flyout, choose shapefile. The create new shapefile dialog box is displayed. In the name text box area, type study areas. And then in the feature type, click on this down arrow. A list appears. From that list, select polygons. Next, in the spatial reference area, click on edit button. The spatial reference properties dialog box is displayed. In this, expand geographic coordinate system. And then expand world. In world, select WGS 1984. And then choose OK. The special reference properties dialog box is closed and the coordinate has been specified. After that, choose OK button. The create new shapefile dialog box is closed and the shapefile layer is added here in the table of content. Now, in order to create the shapefile in the data view area, go to editor in editor toolbars and click on it. A list appears. From that list, Select Start Editing for Digitization. After that, click on Create Features. The Create Features appears. From this, select Study Area and then select Polygon from the Construction Tools. After that, with the help of mouse click, digitize the study area of the dam. We have completed with digitization, just double click it. So the shapefile is completed. Once the digitization is completed, our next step is to save the shape files. Go to editor and click on it. A list appears. From that list, select save edits. Again, click on the editor and click on stop editing. Now, in order to view the study area, go to table of content and double click on the polygon icon. The symbol speculator dialog box is displayed. In this dialog box, select hollow and then choose OK button. The dialog box is closed and here you can see the study area. OK, now if you want to extract this study area, so there are two methods. First method is clip. So for that, go to arc toolbox and click on it. The arc toolbox appears. In this toolbox, expand data management tools and then expand raster. In raster, Expand raster processing and here you have the option for the clip. So just double click on it. The clip dialog box is displayed. In the input raster area, click on the down arrow and select the dam file. Next in the output extension, click on the down arrow and select the polygon shape file that is the study area. And at last in the output raster data set, click on the folder icon. The output raster dataset dialog box is displayed. In this dialog box, browse to the location and in the name text box, type clip and then choose save button. The output raster dataset dialog box is closed and the output raster dataset location with the name is specified here. 
and click on the checkbox corresponding to use input feature for clip geometry. Next, choose OK button. So here you can see the clip has been generated. Let me click on this color ramp and change this to some other color so it will be visible. So here it is. Now close this clip output from the data view area. The second method is more suitable that is extract by mask. So go to Arc Toolbox and click on it. The Arc Toolbox appears. In this toolbox, expand Special Analyst Tools and then expand Extensions. In Extension, we have the option called Extract by Mask. So just double click on it. The Extract by Mask dialog box is displayed. In the Input Raster, click on the down arrow and select the DAM file. Next, in the input raster or feature mask data, click on the down arrow and select polygon. And lastly, in the output raster, click on the folder icon. The output raster dialog box is displayed. In this dialog box, browse to the location where you want to save the file and in the name text box type mask and choose save button. The output raster location with the name is been specified here. Next, choose OK button. The dialog box is closed and will take a little while to generate mask. So it's generated here, as you can see. Let me change this color by clicking on this color ramp. The select color ramp appears. From here, select the down arrow in the color ramp and choose any color. Let me select this. Click the checkbox corresponding to invert and then choose OK. So here you can see the color has been changed. So let me close this demo and the shape file. So this is the final output of extract by mask. Now let me close this extract by mask and let me show you the clip output that was created. Just click on it. So this is the final output of clip. So that's all. I hope you like the video. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to GIS. Today in this video, you will learn how to dissolve, union, intersect, and merge geoprocessing tools in ArcGIS. Now open ArcMap and add the shape file. But before that, let's understand dissolve tool. Dissolve tool aggregates features based on specific attributes. Now go to add data in standard toolbar and click on it. The Add Data dialog box is displayed. In this dialog box, browse to the location and select the data and then choose Add button. The dialog box is closed and the data is added here. This is actually the district boundary of India for every state. Now in order to see the name of every state, open table. So for that, go to Table of Content and right click on the shape file. A flyout is displayed. From the flyout, choose Open Attribute Table. So in this table, you can see name one column in which all the state names are present here for every district. You can see all the names are here. In the basis of name one column, we are going to do the first geoprocessing analysis that is dissolved. Before that, close this table by clicking on this cross. Now in order to perform the dissolved geoprocessing analysis, go to our toolbox and click on it. The R toolbox appears. In this, expand data management tools. In data management tools, expand generalization. So here we have the option called dissolve. Just double click on it. The dissolve dialog box is displayed. Otherwise, go to geoprocessing tools and click on it. A list appears. From that list, select dissolve. The dissolve dialog box is displayed. 
In this dialog box, click on Show Help. So here you can see all the three different polygons dissolve together to form a single polygon. Now in the input features, click on the down arrow and select India Admin 3. After that, in the output feature class, click on the folder icon and then browse to the location where you want to save the file and type dissolve in the name text box and then choose save button. The dialog box is closed and the part with the name is specified here. Now in the dissolve fields, click the checkbox corresponding to name field 1. Just click on hide help so the help window gets closed and after that click on OK. The dialog box is closed and will take a little while to generate dissolve. So here it is, the dissolve has been done. Here you can see the boundary of the states. Actually, it is dissolved based on the state boundary. Now let me remove this India Admin 3 layer. So just right click on India Admin 3. A flyout is displayed. From this flyout, choose Remove. Now let's go for the Union Geoprocessing Analysis. But before that, let's understand Union. These tools compute the geometric union of the input features. All the features and the attributes will combine to form one feature class. First of all, go to Table of Content and remove the shapefile from the Data View area. So for that, just remove the tick from the checkbox. Now go to Add Data in Standard Toolbar and click on it. The Add Data dialog box is displayed. In this dialog box, browse to the location and select both the shapefiles. And then choose Add button. The dialog box is closed and the data has been added here. Let me change color, let's say to this. Now it's properly visible. So here you can see there is two different shape files, but the same places are repeated in both the shape files. Now let's perform the union geoprocessing analysis. In order to do that, go to Arc Toolbox and click on it. The Arc Toolbox appears. In this toolbox, expand Analyst Tools. And then expand overlay and here you have the option called union. So just double click on it. The union dialog box is displayed. In this dialog box, click on show help. Here in this help, you can see two different shape files, but the same places comes in both the shape files. So the output comes as a single shape file like this. Now click on hide help. And then in the input features, go to table of content and select both the union shape files and drag it to the input feature of this dialog box. Next, in the output feature class, click on the folder icon. The output feature class dialog box is displayed. In this dialog box, browse to the location. And then in the name text box, type union and choose save button. The dialog box is closed and the location with the name has been specified here. Next, choose OK button. The dialog box is closed and here you can see the union has been created. Now I am going to do intercept processing analysis. These tools compute a geometric intersection of the input features. A portion of the features which overlay in all the layers and feature class will be displayed to the output feature class. Here we'll use the same data as union. So just go to table of content and remove the union shape file which was the output. Now let's perform the intersection geoprocessing analysis. So for that go to our toolbox and click on it. The R toolbox appears. In this toolbox, expand Analyst Tools and then expand Overlay. In Overlay, we have the Intersection option available here. Just double click on it. The Intersection dialog box is displayed. Otherwise, go to Geoprocessing Analysis and click on it. A list appears. From that list, select Intersect. The Intersect dialog box is displayed. In the Input Feature area, Go to table of content and select both the intersect shape file and just drag it to the input feature area. In the output feature class, click on the folder icon. The output feature class dialog box is displayed. In this dialog box, browse to the location where you want to save the file and type intersect in the name text box and then choose save button. 
After that, click on Show Help. Here you can see two different shape files, but some portion of the area is been repeated in both the shape files. So the output will be generated like this. Now click on Hide Help and click on OK button. The dialog box is closed and the output has been generated here. So this portion is the intersected area. Now in order to see this output properly, just remove these two shape files. So for that, go to table of content and right click on the shape file and select remove. Again, right click on the shape file and select remove. So here you can see this is the final output. After that, I'm going to do merge analysis. It combines multiple input data set of a same data type into a single new output data set. These tools can be used to combine point line polygon feature class or tables. We need to add the data here for the merge analysis. So for that, first go to table of content and remove the intersect from the data view. Go to add data and standard toolbar and click on it. The add data dialog box is displayed. In this dialog box, browse to the location and select both the shape files and then choose add button. The dialog box is closed and the shape file has been added here as you can see. These are the two different shape files. After that, we'll perform the merge analysis. So for that, go to our toolbox and click on it. The Arc Toolbox is displayed. In Arc Toolbox, expand Data Management Tools and then expand General. In General, we have the option called Merge. So just double click on it. The Merge dialog box is displayed. Otherwise, go to Geoprocessing Tools and click on it. A list appears. From this list, select Merge. The Merge dialog box is displayed. In the input data set area, go to table of content and select both the merge shape files and just drag it to the input data set area. Next, in the output data set, click on the folder icon. The output data set dialog box is displayed. In this dialog box, browse to the location where you want to save the file and then in the name text box, type merge and choose save button. The output data set dialog box is closed and the output location with the name is been specified here and the rest keep it as it is after that click on ok the dialog box is closed and the merge output has been created here and here you can see the single polygon shape file is created so this all are the geoprocessing analysis that's all i hope you like the video stay tuned